Well, I've been dreading this video. I told you guys on the last video that uh, we've lost a, a member of our farm here at VW Family Farm. And I thought today I would take you around and I've got some feeding and some chores to do and just share with you guys and just be open and real about what happened. one of sissy's babies we got two girls that look like that and a little orange boy they're so sweet We got five feeders, and then right up in the middle, you can see Mr. Dot. He is getting huge. He's doing so good, too. He's a good boy, aren't you? You're a good boy? One last thing up here at the house is I need to go out here and find the big breeder pigs, and uh, Big Mom actually has a litter of piglets right now, so. Let's go see if we can't locate them. Well, I found Big Mama. Hey, chick. Well, you can see she's doing good. If you notice that noise that she was making and then that, that's a pig telling you, you better back off, I don't like you here. That's their like early warning system. And you better, I'm not saying you see I didn't back straight up when she did that, but you better at least be alert that they're getting angry. So Miss Nosy came over here to see what the commotion was. Short tail. She's had an attitude lately, just to be quite frank. And so let me show you her. So I don't really even know how to tell y'all other than to just say it, but the fact is we lost Big Daddy, our big old spot breeder boar. Um, I know what it's gonna look like when you watch this video because on the heels of our last video, talking about our pond went dry, it's gonna appear that he just thirsted to death without water. That could not be further from the truth. The kids and I watered multiple times a day for a couple weeks actually when we knew that pond was getting low. We were on top of things and, and we knew the pond was getting low. And so we put out a trough, they wound up getting in it and busting it open. We put out two more troughs and we watered them twice a day just to make sure they stayed full because pigs will spill things. We wound up making them a small waller hole so they could get in and get cooled off. But Big Daddy died anyway. And the fact is he has been deaf his whole life uh, as long as we've had him from a piglet. We've suspected he's blind too. So we made sure he knew where the water was, but those things play into his overall health. And he had lived on our farm a long time. We can't even remember how long it's been that long. He's not our first breeder boar, but um, he's only the second one we've ever had. So I know he's lived here a long time. And his time was just lived out here on our farm. And it's tough. You get attached to your animals, and he's always, he's been such a good animal for us, such a good boar. He's always been so sweet and calm and just, um, we could trust him. We never worried about him hurting one of us or anything like that. And it's just a tough loss to take. It's, it's the part of farming that just really, really stinks. So I've got some more chores to do in the back and then several of you have asked me down in the comments if I got a new tattoo and what does it say, what does it mean? So I wanted to share that with you guys.
These dudes are growing like crazy. We've got a little tiny, I was gonna call it Tiny Tim, but it's a Tiny Tina out here. I don't know if you saw it. Um, <clears throat> it's another story of one that's got problems, but just that's what we do around here. We give things a fighting chance and sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. In Big Daddy's case, there's people that would have put him down right off the bat for being blind and deaf, but um, look how long of a good life he's had just because he wasn't discarded for something that he couldn't help. So I'm at my last stop for today. Once I get these turkeys done, I've got the chores done for today. Lane actually went and did the cows for me, so that is awesome. Uh, and I wanted to just take a second. We've had a lot of questions about, uh, did you get a new tattoo? What does it say? What does it mean? And so, yes, I did. I was kind of waiting to just share about it at a focused time instead of answering just comment after comment because um, it is something that means something to me and so I wanted to explain it to you guys and just share it with you. So it's actually from Isaiah 43 19 that says, Behold, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And then some versions say streams in the desert. Um, and so that's where it came from. I was actually just thinking one morning and having my quiet time and the saying just came to me, streams in the desert. Um, we've been through some things in the last few years with our family as most people have. I mean, life will hit you and if you're not ready and you don't have your faith to fall back on and to lean on, um, life can take you down sometimes. And so that that is what it was laid on my heart, I believe by the Lord. So it's really just a reminder to me in life that uh, God can do anything. He can make streams in the desert. He, if, and if you think about literally a desert and a stream flowing through it, that's pretty crazy and pretty amazing. Uh, and away in the wilderness, it's just, that verse is really special to me. And um, I just felt like that morning, I just had a moment with God, honestly. And I felt like he was saying, it's going to be fine. I am doing a new thing and I'm going to make streams in the desert and I'm going to make streams in the desert for you. And I just can't even tell y'all how many times he has made streams in the desert for me. And I know he has for you too. Um, he has for all of us, even, even some of us with really tough situations. If we, if we look at it, he's made a way for us before and he's going to see us through this time. So I just want to encourage you with that. And then just like with this situation, with us losing Big Daddy, uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty much a bummer. I don't know any other way to say it. It's a bummer. But right after we lost him, we kind of were just like, man, what now? Because now he was our big breeder. We've got Dot, obviously, but we really want two because we got two sows and we want to offer breeding pairs to you guys. And wouldn't you know, he made a stream in the desert. A girl contacted us literally out of the blue saying she had, she was thinking of getting rid of her breeder boy because she'd already had him two years and I guess she was going to replace him with another one um, and start some new bloodlines. 
and so it worked out we have found another one we're super pumped while we're sad we've lost big daddy we really are um, we have to keep going and it just felt like another time of just God taking care of us and um, so we will be doing that really soon we'll be taking you along with us and I want to end by saying, if you have reached out to us in the past wanting a breeding pair of old spots, would you email us again? We tried to go back and find the emails of where people had reached out and asked us, but I feel quite sure we missed some of you. So if you are wanting a breeding pair and you're ready for one pretty much right now, would you reach out to us? Because we have, we have some things in the works where we could have some ready for you right away. So uh, go ahead and reach out to us, vwff at yahoo.com. I apologize. Uh, it's really hard with everything we have going on to, like, for someone to say, keep me in mind next year because I want one next year. I would just say keep our info and contact us next year. That's your best bet because uh, we are sometimes busy and overwhelmed and things can get missed. So, uh, but if you are ready for a, a breeding pair right now, hit us up. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that. Um, somehow I hope our channel is never just negative depressing place um, I just what my hope is is to one uh, shine a light for you in a dark world and two, be real about what it's really like to live and work on a farm and so this is another one of those reality videos it's tough tough to make but it's tough to live through and I want to keep you guys in close contact almost as if you were here with us We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. God bless.